Hey everybody, it's Lon Seidman, and you might be having a hard time finding a webcam right now. And yesterday, the folks at Wise reached out to me to let me know they have a new firmware to convert their low-cost security cameras into little 1080p webcams. And I thought it might be fun to step through the process to see how we can get it to work on this camera and what its results might be when it's connected to your PC. So we're going to be taking a look at how to do all that in just a second. But I do want to let you know in the interest of full disclosure that the Wise Cam that we're looking at today did come in free of charge from Wise. However, nobody is paying for this review, nor has anyone reviewed or approved what you're about to see before it was uploaded. So let's get into it now and see how we can get the firmware flashed and have this thing become a webcam. Now, in order to get this to work, you do need a couple of prerequisites. The first is an SD card because we have to download some firmware from WISE and copy it to the card. A lot of you have a card already with your camera. That will work just fine. Uh, you also need a USB cable. You're going to need to get one of these USB A to A cables. Uh, these are plentiful and not that expensive but you likely don't have one of these lying around your house. If you do, you're great and ready to go, but if you don't, you're gonna to have to find one of these cables. Now, the cool thing about using this cable is that you don't need a separate power source. Your computer is going to power the camera. Unfortunately, though, if you wanted to try a USB-C to USB-A cable, because we all have these kicking around, uh, this did not work for me. So you'll definitely want to get the USB-A to A cable here for this to work properly. Uh, it will work, as you'll see, with the Mac and Windows, but it looks like this cable is the only way you're going to be able to get that done. Now, the firmware is located on a special support page on the WISE homepage here. Uh, this firmware will work only with the V2 camera. This is the camera that WISE has been selling now for about a year and a half, two years, so you likely have this one. It also apparently will work with the pan cam as well, but... I don't think you'll get any of the pan and tilt capabilities of the pan cam. It's simply going to turn it into a webcam with a fixed shot. Uh, so I think if you are buying one of these from scratch, you might just want to get the lower cost one here and have it uh, work as your webcam. Uh, the other thing they're cautioning about is using the microphone on the camera. They say it's not going to be all that loud, so they recommend using a secondary microphone to conduct your web conferences. So it's not going to be a great webcam, but it's going to be an adequate webcam to get you through the next couple of weeks. So let's download that firmware now and install it and see how this works. All right, so we're gonna download that firmware now. We're going to go back to that support page. There's a link here for downloading the special firmware. You click on that. After you do that, you are going to get a file dropped off in your downloads folder called uh, V2 Webcam. And what I'm gonna do here is just right click and go to extract all and click extract. And what's going to happen here is it's going to drop off that firmware into its own folder. Now the next thing we've gotta do is copy the firmware to an SD card. So I'm gonna take this card and put it in my computer's card reader here. And we're going to stick this in the side of my PC. And then we're gonna copy the firmware over to the card. And after that, we'll put the card in the camera. So let's do that real quick. And then we will pick it back up. Okay, so we jumped into the folder that was just extracted, and we've got uh, two files and a folder here. The file that we need to copy is this one called demo. I don't know why they call it that, but that's the one you want. And what you're gonna do is grab that file and just drag it over to your SD card. It doesn't go into a special folder. It goes on what they call the root of the card, and you just drop it here. That's going to copy. That's done. And now we're going to take the card out of the computer and put it in the camera, and we're going to get the firmware going. So let's do that. All right, so we've copied the files onto the card here, and the card slot for these cameras, at least the uh, regular Wise Cam, is on the bottom. Uh, so what we're going to do is stick the card into that slot. I found sometimes it's really hard to get the card to pop in because you really have to push it in far. So sometimes getting out a screwdriver or something like that is helpful just to push the card in and getting it to engage. Now there's a button here called the reset button. And what you want to do is hold down that reset button and then plug the power into the back. So we're going to do that real quick. And sometimes it's a little bit easier said than done because that button is right on the edge of the side of the camera. So it's hard to sometimes get your finger to stay put while you're moving the thing around for the power. But we're going to put that in there. And what we want to look for here is that orange light to turn blue. And once it does, that means the firmware 
is getting uh, written to the, uh, the things ROM here. So we're going to let that uh, run. This might take a little bit of time. So we're going to take a break. It's probably going to be about three or four minutes. And then when it's done, we should have ourselves a webcam. So let's see what happens. All right, so the camera has rebooted and you'll know that the firmware is now running on your camera because the light here will be lit up blue. Now what you're seeing here is a two up screen of my laptop. And right now we're looking at the built in camera of the laptop on Google Meet. But what we're gonna do is plug in that USB cable now. And the other end of that cable is plugged into the PC already. And when I connect up this cable, uh, we should see, yep, there we go. The camera detected and operating here. Now, if you're trying to get things to work on the Mac, remember that that USB-C to USB-A cable I told you about earlier is not going to work. If I plug it into the camera here, nothing happens. No power, no nothing. Uh, when I connected power up to the camera to see if maybe that would get it working, it actually started charging the MacBook through the camera, which is not a good thing. So what you're going to need is one of these USB-C to USB-A docks, and then you can plug the camera into that port. Let's see how it works when we do that. All right, so we've got the camera now connected up to my MacBook, and as you can see here, the video is working. I'm going to hit record on here. Uh, this is the camera visually as well as audibly, so you can hear what the audio sounds like as we're playing around with this here. Uh, one thing to note with this camera is that it's not very good with LED lighting. So you can see we've got this kind of striation going on on screen, and that's due to how the lights are interacting with the camera. So if you are using LED lighting in your house, this is something you might see while you're recording. Uh, what I have found is that there are LED lights that you can kind of mount on top of your monitor or something that would light you up without doing this effect that we're seeing right now. But this camera is very susceptible to this kind of thing. It's something I see when it's working as a security camera also. Uh, so you're not gonna get any better image quality out of this than you otherwise would. Uh, but again, it is better than nothing, especially if you're looking for a webcam right now. So there you go. You can turn your wise security camera into a webcam if you need to in a pinch. A couple of things to note here is that all of the security functions don't work when you do this. This is a complete overwrite of the firmware. So it's going to be off your Wi-Fi. It's not going to be communicating with the WISE apps or monitoring your location. It's going to be off completely, but it does become a webcam. So you can at least uh, get that done, but it won't do anything else. Now to put the firmware back on, it's pretty simple. You just basically reverse what we just did. You go back to the WISE webpage, you download the latest firmware for the camera, you put it on the SD card, you hold down the button and reboot it, and that'll bring you right back to where you were before and you can have the camera return to being a normal security camera. But if you're having trouble finding a webcam right now, uh, these are pretty affordable even for a webcam. And after you're done with the webcam usage, you've got a decent security camera you can start playing with too. So uh, all in a good thing. And uh, hopefully this will help some of you out that need a webcam right now. And that's going to do it for now. Until next time, this is Lon Seidman. Thanks for watching. This channel is brought to you by the Lon.TV supporters including Gold Level supporters, The Four Guys with Quarters podcast, Tom Albrecht, Rick Vestudo, Chris Allegretta, and Kalyan Kumar. If you want to help the channel, you can by contributing as little as a dollar a month. Head over to lon.tv slash support to learn more. And don't forget to subscribe. Visit lon.tv slash s.